there we go. And I start my stream off with the mic muted. So here we go. Um, it has been a long time since I have had the opportunity to play World of Warcraft. Um, this is a game that got me started back in 2007. And I wanted to, um, I've been playing the game pretty much nonstop up until last year when I had some folks that I have uh, been playing World of Warcraft with for an awful long time um, kind of, you know, move away from the game. And there are a lot of different reasons why people move away from the game. The content ends up being not what they expect or you run into a brick wall with regards to the content and you end up having to like uh, uh, the grind is no longer that fun um, or you run into a plateau where your abilities are not going to get you any further in the game um, so you're not going to be able to do raids real time or anything like that so you end up you know oh I could do raids from two uh, expansions ago if I wanted to but even that gets a little tedious after a time. And I've done all of that stuff. So um, my friends said, hey, we're going to go play another game. And uh, that's how I ended up moving over to Star Wars The Old Republic. And um, same thing happened there. They ended up saying, you know, we're going to take a break for the summer. And, uh, you know, we'll see if the story, if they end up uh, introducing new content to that game. And new content has not been introduced. And as a result, we, um, I, I was able to convince them to move over to Final Fantasy XIV. So anyway, long story getting longer. Um, bottom line is that I've got, I don't know if you can see this, but I've got like a gazillion different characters that I have been playing since the beginning of time. And, um, you know, just to show you, I, I don't mind that people see where my characters happen to be. I've got... Uh, um, all of my horde characters are over on Trollbane, and uh, you can see I've got a ton of them over there. Some of them are pretty new. A uh, ton of God. I decided I wanted to start a new warrior over there, so you know he's over there. Um, Monobarth is my sixty warlock, and uh, Tuvok is my druid, and uh, both of those characters um, are were maxed out in the last expansion and I kind of just kind of like hung out and haven't done anything with them in uh Dragonflight. So tonight what I'm and actually I've got even more characters on a couple of other servers because I mean we did you know I got seven characters in Dagger Spine. Uh Muradin, I've got a character. I forget why I have one there. Um I don't even remember. Um back in the day um Terracar was my home server so that was the uh not the first server i was on uh but it was a server that i moved to and that's when i actually found a community inside of world of warcraft and the guild that i ended up getting recruited to uh was called the uh committed yahoos and uh we were committed yahoos because uh we decided that um we all used Yahoo for communication back in the day. And uh, so that was the primary reason why we were Yahoo's, but committed because we're all crazy. So <laughs> anyway, that's, um, that's a little bit of history behind um, why I play World of Warcraft or have been playing World of Warcraft. And um, so just to give you an idea now, you all know I go by Dagonet. This is Dag. He's um, he's my character that uh, he's not my first character in WoW. Uh, he is the first character that I uh, was I played after I learned that WoW was not uh, deathmatch, and if you um, end up jumping off the side of uh, the Night Elf tree you don't lose your character. Yeah, that was me. I didn't realize that you can res. So I lost a character off the side. It was a druid. What can I say? Anyway, Dagonet was my second character in World of Warcraft. And uh, he actually has been able to find the uh, 
um, the uh, res points in the game. So it's like graveyards. Yes, he's very familiar with them. Um, he was he has gone through. If you know anything about warriors and World of Warcraft, he's gone through being a tank. He's gone through the two iterations of DPS. So he has played both Fury with two, you know, wielding two weapons and also um, arms. And uh, I've gone bounced around between them, um, depending upon whatever the needs happen to be for that particular expansion. I haven't actually tanked in World of Warcraft since... Um, uh, Lich King. And the reason for that is because um, things got kind of iffy after that and tanking um, in anything other than a, a guild group or uh, tanking in a, a group of friends doing dungeons and stuff uh, just was not fun. It was one of those things where you got blamed for everything. A lot of people thought that they could do better than you, so they were pulling everything all the time. Um, as a tank, I even got kicked several times just because they didn't think I was going fast enough. But um, as anyone who's played the game knows, different tanks in uh, play differently depending upon the expansion they're in, depending upon the uh, balancing of their particular uh, class for that expansion. And this holds true for any of the games. So whether you are playing um, Star Wars The Old Republic or Final Fantasy or anything else, um, all of this has to do with the tuning that's done by the studios um, to allow for the characters to be able to uh, be balanced or play against each other. Now, so um, Dagonet has been resting, and so he's currently not my primary... Uh, uh, character. And in fact, for the previous expansion, he wasn't my primary. I actually leveled my Death Knight first. And uh, then I kind of got bored with her. Um, and I ended up going back and leveled everybody else. Uh, well, not everybody, but a whole lot of people. So I did play um, some of Dragonflight. This is something that um, um, that I did do one. I created an invoker, for example. I uh, have not played him. <laughs> I got him to level two. I got him out on the waking shores, and that's about as far as I got. Um, so my highest character is my warlock, Soggy. And um, so she's the one that I'm going to finish going through um, the current expansion with as my, um, as my uh, primary character and my main. And uh, I just, for this particular expansion, I kind of liked how the Warlock played. Um, it wasn't overpowered. She didn't, I mean, she kills stuff fast enough, but it's like, you know, she's kind of middle of the road as far as uh, damage is concerned and everything. But that was still, it was fun to just have a different character up there and run around. Not only that, but hey, if you're a Warlock and you're a uh, cute little princess like she is, yeah, it was just fun. Might as well have something up there that would carrying demons around and looking like she does. So we're going to play with Soggy tonight. Um, again, I have not logged into the game and played any of this for almost a year. So I know that there's been a couple of um, patches that have occurred. I know that they have expanded the game exponentially. I know that there's been a lot of rework. I know that the minute I log into Soggy, there is going to be a talent tree that I am very unfamiliar with. Um, the bottom line is I'm going to struggle through all of that tonight and see what we can do. And uh, hopefully you guys will think it'll be interesting enough to watch. So that's my story and I'm sticking to it, okay? Uh, so here we go. Soggy, the saga Soggy. Oh, by the way, in case you're wondering, it's like we have um, uh, Soggy is obviously a uh, a gnome, and uh, we had a bunch of gnomes running around in our uh, guild at one point, and uh, I was trying to come up with a good name for Soggy for uh, what? Oh goodness, what's new? I'll look at that in a minute. Um, I was trying to come up with a good name for my character, and I couldn't quite figure out what it was going to be, and. Uh, I ended up uh, on Soggy because 
you have uh, a bunch of characters from a uh, serial when I was a kid. Snap, crackle, pop, right? Okay, this is Rice Krispies, obviously. You know, I know, I know, I'm too old. What can I say? But Snap, crackle, and pop, and I wanted to come up with their sister, and that's Soggy. <laughs> okay, so that's where Soggy came from. Okay, let's see what's going on with this. What's new? Night Elf and Forsaken Heritage. At some point, I will go and I'll get both of those uh, Heritage armor sets. They are usually pretty short little um, uh, quest lines, like maybe five to ten quests that you have to complete. And uh, I like playing dress-up with my characters, so that's cool. What is a ping system? Visit the options menu to start communicating faster with pings. Is this like with people that you're online with? Maybe. I don't know. Well, I'll have to figure that one out. Okay. Uh, dream surges. Battle dream empowered foes across the Dragon Isle as Amandrasol prepares to bloom. Hmm. All right, so it looks like they're having expansion, or they're having, like, uh, uh, looks like they're, they're having, like, uh, um, world boss stuff pop up all over the place, and you have to battle them. Okay, I can figure that out. Thank you. Disenchantment 1 and 2. Yes, I was an enchanter and a tailor, so that's what her stuff was. Um, Here's some other things, just so you know, I've got, my layout is very different from the standard layout, and uh, that's because I've been playing for so long. I, at least with the retail version of World of Warcraft, I don't play it without having all of the bells and whistles and stuff for my um, add-ons, okay? So I've got a list of add-ons probably a mile long, and uh, so if any of you are interested in what I'm using, you can go ahead and ping me and I'll, I will uh, include some of that information on my channels and stuff and, and let you guys know about it. But uh, yeah, so anyway, that's, that's a thing. Uh, I've got a little guy carrying walking around. Usually those are like, instead of having um, a floating head talking to me, I've got a little dragon, All right? We've got, is it Druf, Brewfest? Oh, Really? Okay. I even forgot about that. Brewfest celebrant. Oh, boy. It's Brewfest time. Might as well find out what's going on with Brewfest. Brewfest prize token. Do we still go over to uh, Ironforge for Brewfest? Donate to taverns across the uh, Dragon Isle to cover the tab. So you get 10 tokens. Oh, that's the one where you have to travel all over Tempok 2. Okay, I'm not going to take that. Not right now. What's this one? Unlock the Whelp Daycare. Flaps does a spin and deposit. Oh, Flaps. <laughs> we have a cat that we call Flapjack. We call him Flap for short, so. Oh, okay. Soggy. The ruby life pools are overwhelmed with dragon eggs ready to hatch. We are excited to welcome these blessings to Azeroth, but we do not have enough whelp tenders to mine them. Please visit me at the life shrine so we may discuss a potential solution. Meet Amela at the Ruby Life Shrine in the Waking Shores. And you'll gain these followers. Uh, unlock the Whelp Daycare. Uh, you'll also receive a little experience and a couple of pieces of gold. Okay, I'll take it. Was there another one? I, just the two, I guess. I don't know, guys. Do you think I should go and... Ah. Uh... Uh, what's going on with this you can see i've got like all of these quests that are open and i have no idea where it was okay the campaign obviously i gotta finish that okay let's you know what i'm not gonna take the brew fest thing just because i'm gonna go and let's go do uh open orientation since that happens to be uh, part of the campaign so I'll figure this one out um, I want to see let's see if I can remember how to fly that's always a good one 
Yay. At least I got up to the top. Um, the Forgotten Griffin. Oh, boy. You know, there is a point at which you can get completely overwhelmed with stuff. And I am looking at this going, what am I doing? All right, we're going to go and see just how far off the orientation thing is. Um, other side? Holy moly. Maybe I should have taken a taxi. What's this? Need for higher velocities. Available quest. Eggs in abundance. Oh, okay. We'll go to, you know what? I'm going to go back and take a taxi because I don't feel like fighting with the flying thing tonight yet. I'll probably have to do that at some point. Uh, Ruby life pools. All right. So where's, where's the taxi here? I know it's around somewhere. That way. Crash. Here we go. Play point. Show me where I can fly, please. Uh, yeah, yeah, I got these. Okay, that's not where I wanted to go. Where am I, right? Oh, up here. All right, Ruby. All right, we'll go there first. And they stick me on a dragon. Thank you. A serpent? Something like that. So one of my old guild mates um, was uh, checking out my uh, advertising of going back and playing World of Warcraft. And he has, he's not played for at least five years. And um, he sent me a uh, little video clip from YouTube that was the uh, folks from our guild back in 2000, early, late 2000s, uh, 2007 to 2010, somewhere in that time frame anyway. And uh, it was a dance video, and it was pretty funny, actually. So um, I asked him if it was okay if I could, like, use his uh, dance, use the dance video and, and put it on the thing, and I'll, I'll go ahead and put that on my, uh, uh, my channel as well so people can see it. It's pretty cute. Um, shows you just kind of the camaraderie that we all had uh, back at the time. So this is Hepa... Hef Hey, Festa, I still, okay, well, i got to talk to her, that's regardless. Um, well, Matt, Soggy, what business do you have with the Artisans Consortium? Artisans Supply ruined Severite Rod. Why do you, why did you join the Artisans Consortium? Uh, oh, that's a lovely question. Thank you for asking. For years as a crafter, I tried to peddle my goods but it was so hard to find clients, I found myself just wandering the city shouting if anyone needed something made. I've heard about the crafting stuff in here. People are so confused. And I'll probably be joining that rather quickly. The Artisans Consortium offers something better, a new way of connecting clients and crafters. They are not just a business. They are an innovation on the market. Uh, but what do you, what about you? What do you hone your trade? Uh, why do you hone your trade? It's a lifestyle. It's something to do. I want to be rich. My guild needs supplies. I'm not going to get rich doing what I'm doing. Um, no, I'm not in a guild right now. So my, yeah, it's a passion. I feel the same way. I am not a fighter. I am an artisan. That is why I am who I am. I am so glad you understand. Good. What else am I supposed to do with her? Professions trainer. Uh, ba ba ba. Let's see. She's a tailor. I have marked their stations on your map. Safe travels. Thank you. So, what? A, how come this is still showing as not? Having finished the quest, is there a quest? Oh, Arson. Uh, how can the Artisans Consortium help you today? Ruined required items. Do I have those? I don't even know what I have in my in inbox. What's in my... Oh, God. <laughs> I'm not going to find anything in here. Come on, seriously? Um, hmm. Let's see if I can search for it. A ruined? I got ruined something. 
not what I want though. It's a ruined orb. Okay, so I don't have the, do I have a sever? Oh, I probably have to make it, huh? So, if that's the case, let me see if I want to try to pull this off right now. Uh, ba ba ba. It's an enchanting. So what do I do with my enchanting? Oops, there we go. Um, ruined severite rod. There we go. Not ruined, ruined. All right, so I need a severite rod to begin with. Is that something you buy, or is that something? Crafting reagent, where is it? Do I have a rod? Don't answer that. <laughs> hmm. Rod. Rodney! Um... Bet you it's something I gotta buy somewhere, or... I don't even see it anywhere. Is that right, Rod? Ruined copper rod? Rods. Here. There are rods. Just one. So I have a ruined copper rod. But I don't have a severite rod. So how do you make a severite? Oh, you have to have the recipe. Oh boy, this is going to be... This is not something that I want to stream necessarily tonight. Okay, so we're going to... Yeah, I'm trying to be careful. <laughs> All right, open air orientation. I'm going to have to figure that one out later. Um, where else am I supposed to go here? Uh, there is... A few other places there I'm going to which area dragon scale base camp I don't know whether there's a yeah some of this I don't like having all that stuff on there but it's the way it is okay I guess I'm gonna fly there on a dragon I should be able to make the 400 yards pretty easy. And crash. Okay, welcome to the base camp, Soggy. It took Toddy and me a while to settle on to the perfect site to establish camp, but I wouldn't be happier with our selection. Easy access to ruins, proto-dragon breeding grounds, and of course, dragon flights. Why not take a few minutes to explore the camp and meet some of the suppliers helping to fuel the expedition? Meet the important suppliers in the dragon. Okay, well, I've got to... I see all these people that are highlighted out here, so I'm going to go... Well, first, I'm going to get the flight point, and then I'm going to get off my dragon. Thank you. You are an innkeeper, so talk to me. Uh, grab a stool and put your feet by the fire, friend. Uh, did I ever tell you the story of how uh, how me dra uh, granddaughter Toddy first found her griff griffin wild feather? Not yet, but I am going to guess that you're going to tell me, aren't you? Mm -hmm. Well, Toddy didn't really find wild feather. Well, wild feather found her. When Toddy was but a wee lass, she wandered off from camp as she's wont to do, you know. Uh, Grandpap Whisker laughs as he recalls old memories. And also, as she's wont to do, she got herself into trouble. Right into a pack of forest trolls, she wandered nasty urns, nasty uns out for blood. There she was, cornered at the base of the, uh, Inthran Allure, when a, a fierce griffin cry rings out over the whole Hitherlands. A wild feather swooped in, carry, scared off the trolls, picked up Toddy on her back, and they've been inseparable error since. It's error more impressive considering wild feather ha had hatched just the day before. It's all true, of course. Okay. Ask him something more. Uh, let me browse your goods, see if I can get rid of stuff. Yes, I can sell junk. You know what? I think I might have been running some... Ray, old old raids in order to pick up like 
uh, transmog stuff, and I didn't clean out my bag. It's all coming back to me. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. I'm just going to live with that. So another... I don't need to go do that one. Let's find out what's going with this. Uh, wondered, Watcher's Golden Girdle. Uh, the archivist humbly requested request that all expedition members seek out the Watcher's Golden Girdle for our uh, our artifact archives. If acquired, please deliver to Cataloger Jakes for processing and compensation. You may wish to start your search at our northern dig site where elementalist uh, Ty... Ty Tai Yang has reported a malfunctioning watcher causing trouble. Find the watcher's golden girdle. Uh, I'm guessing I've got to do that, so all right. Got to talk to this guy, Expedition Supplies. Don't need to browse his goods. Already got rid of all the stuff I can. Ogremar, some... Okay. Do I need a repair? Nope. I have no skill. Trust me on that. And I need to talk to this guy? Or is... No, I don't want your ears. They're too long. How about, I guess I'm going to go inside because it looks like there's someone inside I need to talk to. Keeper of Renown. Okay, what's the blue? Are those like for special quests, I guess? Oh, man. Dragon Isle Artifact. Are you looking to submit or withdraw an artifact today? Maybe you're more interested in... I do. Wish to know where I stand with the Dragon Scale Expedition. Sure, tell me. <laughs> okay, does that explain thing? <laughs> Everybody, I'm like, way low. Yeah, yeah, so it has to be like, I'm on number two. All right, that's fine. I don't care. What did I unlock? Okay. The golden girdle, what is this? I'm going to run out of space for quests if I keep tacking some of this stuff on. Do you have something for the archives? No, I don't. I'm going to leave that as is. What's this? Uh, no. All right. I'm not going to take any of those. I got one more person I need to talk to, I think. Is that the mailbox? It is. Do I have mail? I didn't even check. No mail. Thank goodness. If I got mail, I wouldn't know where to put it. <laughs> I would like to see supplies and items you have. No, not really. Every artifact reveals to us a hidden piece of this land's great history. There comes a point in the game when if you have to get off of the game and go to a website and research it, then they may have skipped steps in the game for explaining how things work. But honestly, that's the way it's been with World of Warcraft since I've played it. I mean, oh, God, I don't even remember some of the websites. They're all gone now, but it's like there were websites out there for figuring out, you know, which quests that you had to do in order to be able to level your character because it wasn't a breadcrumb, breadcrumb type of, of explanation. It's like, oh, man, this is like some things don't change. So... According to someone who did programming and a bunch of game designers, this is uh, self-explanatory, but not to me. So that's the way it is. All right, so now we know about this place. Thank you. Goodbye. And I got one more person I got to turn things into. Or is she the, is she the one that's like asking for, oh, okay, Toddy. Hi, Toddy. Met me grandpap, did you? Well, don't believe all his stories. He loves to brag about the family. Yeah, okay. I finished the one. That's cool. So I got two 
two places finished. I gotta go find the next one. Uh, orientation Iskara. Where where's Iskara? Uh, is that Iskara? No. Up there? No. That's not Iskara. Where is is oh Iskara is not even in this zone. I betcha it's a different zone. Huh. Waking Shores. I don't see it there. The Azure Span. Is that it? Ooh. Okay. So how far away is that then? Dragon Isles. Show me the Dragon Isles. I gotta go all the way down there. How far this is an immense location i mean particularly if you're trying to like fly on a dragon <laughs> and it takes a lot to get there um where am i supposed to go that's one oh we did that one i lost it azure span was that where i was supposed to go oh azure span okay so can I fly there is the question. I don't see a flight point. Orange Springs, maybe I can fly there. Let's go talk to... Nope, that's not a flight. Where's the flight path? Back behind me. All right, Art. Tell me I can fly down to where I need to be. Yes, I can. Thank you. Uh, I've got collections. What am I? What am I missing here? Random? No, don't want to do that. I don't want to, no, mounts? Dragon riding mounts are found at the top of your list. Yes. Favorite one to use it with fa random? Yes, I already have. They're all favorited. Um, pets? Uh, collected. Show me my pets, please. I don't care about the battle pets. Where am I? Where are my? I got three hundred sixty-eight of them. Where are they? Oh, there they are. Okay. Oh, I've got a couple of pets that I haven't uh, collected yet. Sunny. Oh, that's cute. And then silver pig. Open. There's Silver Pig. All right, so now I have 368. Cool. I use a random, um, one of my many, many um, add-ons is a add-on called Collect Me. And it allows me to have, like, it picks a random mount or a random um, pet to follow me around. And you can have it set to not uh, pop up when you're running in dungeons, or you can have it your pet run with you in dungeons or whatever. And these are cosmetic pets, not the not the uh, hunter pets. But yeah, I've got one of those add-ons that uh, does that for me, and that's kind of cool. Uh, same thing for my mounts, actually. I have random mount, and that's part of Collect Me. Well, it's built into the game. Originally, there was a um, requirement that you do it using Collect Me, and then uh, uh, Blizzard built it into World of Warcraft. And so that's a thing now. All right, who do I need to talk to? Walrus Man. Welcome, friend. How can we help you? 
the Valdraken Accord is pleased to see the Drakthari, uh, Drakthair return to the Reach. The dragons are expanding their influence again, and they spread their wings wide. I just hope we can piece together the mysteries of the Drakthir's past. Uh, I can already tell you I... Okay. I guess I'm going to have to, like, take this one, run around, get familiar with everybody. Now, I imagine any of you who are actually playing this game right now and haven't taken time off, uh, did you forget to feed the pets? <laughs> um, no, I just didn't pull them out of the, uh, didn't pull them out of the uh, um, uh, thing, uh, out of the uh, warehouse. Um, I, I've been collecting pets, like there are pets that you get that um, are part of like your subscription and having been uh, subscribed for, you know, basically a year without playing. But I ended up getting a couple of pets during that time frame. And also through um, Twitch. Twitch does pet giveaways and stuff like that. You haven't played a game in 15 years. Oh, so you're, are you talking about hunter pets? Uh, not feeding them? Because, yeah, that's a thing. <laughs> so fishing. Okay. I'm going to have to learn all about fishing again. I'm not going to do this right now. Thanks. Good. I'm glad. Because all this stuff is like, huh. Repairs. Don't need to do repairs right now, but thank you. I'm sure you will. And let's see. Uh, bring any news from afar. I'll have you know my uh, ecological research is not limited to gnolls. I also take a keen interest in dragons and their many forms. Um, feel free to come and chat with me about them anytime. Uh, okay. Let me browse your goods. You got all kinds of fun stuff in here. What is this? They're supplies, but they cost what? 50 something. Oh, I guess you get those supplies from like doing your uh, getting higher level uh, reputation with the faction out here. Okay. So if these guys are like all, if they like you, then it's cool. All right. Got it. I have a couple of favorite mounts that I keep not um, pulling up randomly. This happens to be one of them because it has repair, a repair person. And uh, so... I don't know what I need from you, but I'm just trying to finish my quest, dude. So let me... And obviously I don't have enough reputation to get anything from you. So, oh, I can get Smuggle Blends or Primal Flux or something else. Oh, I wonder if they have a... They don't have the rod that I need, though. Okay. Anywhere else I need to go? Stable Master. I'd like to heal and revive my battle pets. No, they're not dead. <laughs> uh, are you known for training Odex, right? Uh, okay. So I think I finished this quest line. I can go and talk to this guy again. Orientation. Iskara. And now I have 15 reps. And you need 35 more in order to buy anything here. So, hmm. Go grind, right? I hope you have a pleasant time in Iskara. As you now, as you know now, many of us are fine craftsmen and merchants. I encourage you to continue to ask around and learn what all of my people have to offer. All right, good. Where to next? I have Valdraken. All right, where, where's the Valdraken part? Uh, is it on the planes? Nope. 
Is it Daldrassus? Nope. Uh, the Azure Span. That's where I am. It's about there. Forbidden Reach. I guess not there because I'm forbidden. The Waking Shores. I don't see it there either. I see five. I see question mark. Eggs in abundance. Oh, I got something to turn in. Uh, no. So where am I going? Zalakrak Caverns. No, I'm not going there either. Okay, where do I need to go? Open orientation. Valdraken. Where, oh, where's the Valdraken? Let's see if it shows here. I don't, I don't see anything. Do you see anything, guys? Ah. All right. Well, I guess I'm going to have to like run around until I can figure out how where this is because I don't see it. Ah. Oh. So Toolman uh, said he hasn't played this game in like 15 years. And it's like, okay. So um, in this particular expansion, you have to learn how to fly a dragon before you can actually get a mount or get on a mount and fly around in this place. So I have done that, which is a cool thing. So I'm happy about that. Oh, okay. That's a Valkyrill. It's a level level 70. I'm a level 69. Maybe I can do it? I don't know. Let's see what we can do here. All right. Get rid of that. I'm going to switch my... Well, of course, always. Okay, fine. Let's see what I can do with this guy. This ought to be fun. Or not. I don't know. We'll find out. Oh, he's going down. That's a good thing. The other good thing is my uh, my tank, my tanking blueberry is not going down, which is a good thing too. Oh, now he's beating on me. Hey. I can actually remember how to fight with this character. <laughs> that's a that's a first. Did I win? I don't think I won. Did I get anything? Oh, I got a strong box. Okay, what what's in the strong box? No, wrong button. There's a strong box. Uh, first of all, can I like? Clean up aisle one. Uh, where's the strong box again? Hello. There's a strong box. I got a thinned check. 
it's a unlocks this customization option for the cliffside oh okay that's right i forgot in this expansion you can get different uh looks for your dragons that you're running around in with so that's kind of a cool thing and i still don't know where i'm actually supposed to be going so I have no idea whether I'm headed in any particular direction I need to be or whether I'm just going to like fall here. Okay, that's cool, but where am I headed? <laughs> uh oh, he's headed someplace where he shouldn't be, obviously. And I probably need to be above these rocks, and I'm not going to be able to get up there. Or maybe I am. Not that way. I'm going to run out of juice, like, really fast here. Okay, he's going to hopefully make it to the waterfall. No! <laughs> Okay, he's not going to make it to the waterfall. He's going to have to get out of the waterfall and go park someplace until he can get up enough juice to fly again. Ah. Now, I remember what was frustrating about dragon flying. Got to see a lot of country, but man, don't remember any of this. Attack on the Bracken height. No, I'm not going to do that right now. Although, I get some XP for it. Might have to attack some Dragon height because I'm down here in the bottom of everything now. I think I just hang out here for a, a couple minutes. See these bubbles here? This is what um, allows you to like get more juice and be able to fly when you run out of this stuff then you can't fly you have to sit wait the other option is to get high enough that you can pick up speed and glide so if you're gliding down you can actually uh regenerate So she's almost regent, which is good. I still need to figure out where I'm supposed to be. I don't. Okay, I'm looking for open orientation. I guess the question would be, where are the Valdraken? Because I'm looking for the shield that shows me. No, that's not it. And I'm up here, so I don't see any of these. Is it in the waking shore? The need for higher velocities. <laughs> Six, broken head. Nope. Eggs in abundance. It's a quest I need to turn in. Wow. So much crap. Still not in Forbidden Reach. Not in the, the span. Not the cavern. Is that it? No, that's not it. Open orientation. It's got to be a shield, and it's well. Doesn't say where I have to turn it back in. Where? Where? Oh, where? Oh, where?
Okay, time to hearth back to the main area and see if something shows up. This takes me back to takes me back to the original location. That's good. Okay. I have unspent talent points. Yeah. That's another thing I have to research first. It's my emissary, but I have no idea what I'm doing with him. Aiding the Accord. The tales of your exploits ring true, but what is it you bring me? Information, news, get on with it. Okay, never mind. So is there a... Any clue here? Third challenge? No. Waking Shore Tour? No. Nothing there. Eggs, Ruby Life? Not. Allegiance of One? Need for Higher Velocity? Okay, we already went through all of these, so that's... Waking Shore is not the place I need to be. Bummer. So, Thaldrasus... Thaldrasus? Oh! I didn't even see these because they were hidden under everything. Now, this is... Crafting orders, no. Orientation... Ah, there it is! Okay, so I need to be there. Which is... Where is there? Thaldrakan. Duh. All right, good thing I hearthed back. Now I can find out. Where am I right now? Huh. I don't know where I am. Holy Toledo. I've got to get used to the map again. This is bad. This is sad, guys. I'm sorry. Thaldraken, go there. Whew. All right. You have unspent talent points. What do I need to do with them? I'm not going to spend, well, PvP, fine, whatever. I have five points available. I'm still doing affliction. Maybe, maybe I go. I don't know what I go. I could use the lo the default loadout, right? Starter build. Yes. Lose your current talent build unless you save it to a loadout first. Go. Just do it. That way I don't have to worry about the, the five points. I think they're I think I was using the starter build anyway. They just didn't. That's okay. What am I supposed to do with this? PvP. Okay, what do I have? Oblivion. Three soul shards. I don't play PvP, so it doesn't matter. Rotten Decay. That sounds good. I know it's probably not the best thing. I don't care. <laughs> Fracture the soul up to three target. Uh, Bonds of Fell. Call Observer. Sure, why not? Okay, so I took care of all my points. That's terrific. Okay. Now I remember, I'm suddenly remembering why it is that I wasn't so shook up about walking away from World of Warcraft for a while. <laughs> It's like, yeah, there's so much to do here. Two, is that? No, orientation. Oh, yeah, I gotta go that way. I just came from there. Oh, I gotta go down, down the hill. I'm gonna go ride, ride my 
mammoth down here. Let's see if I can find where I'm supposed to be. Am I supposed to be even further down? Uh-oh. No, I'm supposed to be up there. Crap. Back up. Cross the bridge. And it looks like this one, Stable Master. Hello. Uh, I don't have any pets to revive. I hear you can provide lost pets as well as great customizations. Yes, isn't that cool? I can get a rope pet leash, but I already know it. Right, none of this stuff I have enough gadgets for, so never mind. And where else do I have to go? Come on, you're not going to show me on the map? Was that it? Oh, that can't be it. Where's the orient? Uh, oh. Back over here somewhere. Crafting orders, orientation. So back across the bridge. I'll leave my map open. Herbalism. I am not an herbalist. Trade coordinator. Yes, it is. Consortium has quickly proven their business savvy. I've learned much from my alliance and horde friends. And since they are first arrival. Okay, that's... I'm really impressed. But, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Where else do I need to go? Uh, over here. Oh, this one. Artisan Consortium. I have a question about the Artisan's Consortium. Uh, why is the Artisan, Artisan's Consortium on the Dragon Isles? Please inform me. Well, 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 you're a curious one, ain't ya? Yeah, it started with Aisha. Aisha. Uh, she was the one who founded this company. She loves, loves, loves telling this story. So if you really want details, you should share it from her. <laughs> no, pass. Okay. Uh, never mind. Thank you. I got, got credit for that one. And let's see. I got one more up there. So I got it like right around. Okay, cool. I'm still not done. I got another one I have to talk to, but who? Where are they? Oh, in the main. The main thing? Yeah. Boom. I like the music here. Doom. 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 Oh, I have to be up top, don't I? No, there it is. Okay. I thought maybe I was going to have to fly up to the top. I hate that. I had to do that to get the dragon and it's like no not again welcome friend how can we help you the uh the valdraken accord is pleased to see the drakthir return to the reach the dragons are expen ex expanding their influence again and they spread their wings wide i just hope we can piece together the mysteries of the drakthir's past orientation drakthir complete the quest I got a quest done. Yay. Open orientation. Ready f for turning. Is it? Okay. Where? Where is it open? Show me. Show me on the map. Well, it's just outside. Good. I don't have to travel halfway across the country. Run, 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 run. Well, 
one of the interesting things about the game is that they have so much for you to do. Um, you can essentially play this game and never ever run a dungeon if you want to. Um, go with the aspects. Why, thanks. Um, you can um, do, you can level your character through just questing. Um, you can uh, never go on a raid, which is honestly the last couple of expansions. That's pretty much what it's been like for me because the guild that I was part of when I first started uh, playing um, was um, that guild fell apart. And there's a lot of different reasons for it. Part of it had to do with the fact that uh, we were a social guild, but people wanted to see end game content. And uh, seeing the end game content meant that we had to get a group of folks together uh, who would, wanted to raid. And unlike a raiding guild where people were like manic about it, <laughs> and they wanted to spend all their living moments uh, being the best raiders that they could, our group was more interested in just being able to go into the raid and see the storyline and be able to go through and maybe take a crack at the final boss. Um, as a result, um, we often did not see the end of a raid, um, or we were really far back in the raid progression with regards to everybody else in the game. So you, if you were like comparing uh, it to, uh, for example, uh, some of Method, for example, uh, they're one of the top raiding guilds in, in the world, okay? Um, these guys are professionals. They get paid uh, a living wage in order to play the game, and they are night and day playing, trying to be the best not there that's not us we never wanted to be that way um but yeah so um there were people though who were part of our guild that decided they got a taste of what it was like to be in a raiding guild and they wanted to see if our guild could actually be more of a raiding guild style and so we had this schism that cr got created the people that were uh, fine with us being a um, uh, social-oriented um, guild uh, basically broke off and said, no, we're not going to do this anymore, and they went away. The people who uh, wanted to be hardcore uh, uh, raiders and stuff like that, they couldn't get enough people to come into the guild, and they wanted to take over the entire guild, and I was the guild leader at the time. And I didn't want that for the guild. I wanted the guild to continue to be a social-oriented guild, and it just didn't work. So the guild that I ran actually still exists. It's still out there. Um, uh, but, um, you know, it's like that's the, um, uh, the way it is with regards to... Um, guilds sometimes they work and sometimes they don't and at this point you know that particular guild i think has some family members that are still around and um you know there aren't uh there aren't a lot of other people in the guild at the moment and um yeah i'm still the guild leader for that one believe it or not so i've been at this for an hour i am going to take a break soggy is going to put her feet up uh for a few minutes and uh yeah we're going to uh um uh, be on uh, a break for a few seconds here and uh, I'll be back uh, very shortly and hang in there and we'll be back <laughs> cool all right now it's working as intended thank you for letting me know um, you guys can hear it right still So the thumbs up or something. All right, I'll take your word for it. Um, 
fine. Let's see. Aiding the Accord. So 365 of 3,000 reputation earned throughout Dragon Isle. I guess I got to, like, go do all these. But that's the campaign. Okay. So quests. I've got some quests open. Let's go. The Walking Shores Tour. All right. That's just flying. Do I want to do this? Ruby Life Pools. Primalist Invasion. Um... These you can only do if the if they're open and available at the time. So I think there's only certain times that you can run these. Um, I don't think that you can actually run them. Uh, hmm. Yeah, I don't think you can actually. I don't think you can actually run them if you're not um, if they're not up and running. So I think that's why all of those are kind of left for me at the moment. Let's see what else I got. Eggs in abundance. I got something to turn in. So let's go figure out where that is. This is over in... Uh, oh, Ruby Pool's back over there. Okay. So where's my... Oh, that's right. Flying mounts over here. So I'm going to go run over to Ruby Pool's. We protect the Isles. Good. I'm glad. And... Eggs in abundance. Guard against... I think it was a... I might have to actually go... Get the eggs? I don't know if I have the eggs. It says I can turn them in now. That actually might be, um, go talk to this person and then do that quest that the person tells you to do, right? Could be one of those. here and I need to go somewhere go this direction in order to talk to oh I need to go up well I'm gonna jump on my dragon anyway because it's faster than having to walk unless you run into something <laughs> Oh, where? Who's the person I need to turn it into? Oh, this is the loop. I didn't want to do the loop. Well, I guess I'm going to do the loop. Let's do the loop. Why not? Oh, hello. Hi. The waters flow once more. I'd like to try the course. Uh, enjoying your time in the life shrine? It's exciting, isn't it? Uh, all of this new life springing forth since the dragons have returned. Would you like something else exciting and new, like the Ruby Life Shrine Loop? It's a quick course that takes you all around the Life Shrine. Come on, you know you want to race it. Um, well, I'll try it, I guess. Which way do I have to go? Alright, fine. Find the gold rings. Ready? Set. Jump. All right. You got to do it in as short an amount of time as possible. I'm just kind of cruising here. At some point, I should probably hit boost. That was a boost. Come on. Good boost. 
I didn't boost it. Oh no. But I haven't used any of my stuff, so I'm almost back to the beginning and boom. Yay. I got a bronze medal. I didn't expect to get anything else. <laughs> All right, that's cool. Now, still, where's the other one? This way. Fine, we'll go this way. There she is. Oh, I am glad you are here. Soon the whelps will greatly outnumber us. Damn whelps. Be careful out there. All right, our egg tenders report a new clutch of eggs is soon to hatch or nearly a whelp tender would take each newly hatched dragon and raise them with their flight. However, not all dragon spawn are called to the life of a whelp tender, and we are short of hands. Um, you just got two, that's all. Gather wisdom from whelp tenders of each flight in the gardens below uh, the life shrine. Uh, Ag Agapanthus, that's the one that looks like a flower that goes like this, I guess. An experienced whelp tender of the blue flight, because Agabanthus are blue typically, has offered his service as head of the little scales uh, daycare, but we he need he will need your assistance. Speak to the whelp tenders at the gardens of the ruby life pools, and it's just somewhere like below us. So accept. Look after others. And where do I go? Where do I need to go? Oh, where, oh, where? Oh there okay so maybe i can jump up on the edge nope I'm not gonna let me oh come on seriously you can't jump off the edge and get there huh No, I'm not going to do that one. Uh, we'll go this way. Crash of the trees. <laughs> that was good. I got one 400 something feet below me, so I'll zip down there. Zippity do day. Boom. Hello. We serve once more. Uh, let's see. He was now, he was just saying he was hungry, but now he's completely asleep. Sounds like raising my two boys. I suppose this gives me time to revise my poetry. Do you have any wisdom for raising whelps? Honor Quest. All dragons. Spending time in the dream is important to their growth, but green whelps ought not to stay something. Stay there too long. Uh, being part of the waking world is sometimes hard for whelps. We must be their encouraging guides. Okay, that's kind of good to know. It was useful information from my wife. Aspects grace shine down on you. Do not worry. He has heard the story a thousand times. He is not missing anything by napping. As it is, he will ask for this story again before turning in. Do you have any wisdom for raising wolves? Aspects wolves? watch over you. So the bronze whelp tenders often find themselves pulled in many directions at times. Our greatest tool, uh, patience. Our journeys are not linear. How can we expect theirs to be? Okay. That works as well. The Isles have awakened. Please do not disturb Lozenge. Lo 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 Losagosa. <laughs> we just managed to calm down after an arcane anomaly. May I help you with something? Uh, yeah, do you have any wisdom to impart on me? Uh, wisdom from the whelp tender? Uh, hmm, let me think. Uh, sometimes there are, there are difficult lessons. That does not mean all lessons must be difficult ones. Have fun. That's true. I wonder if they hired parents to write these, right? Kelty has taken a shrine to these goblets. They insist we take one home, 
but I have reminded them that these belong here. Luckily, the ones at home are identical. Do you have any aspect wisdom? Watch over you. Uh, each whelp is increasing, incredibly precious to their flight. What? Uh, oh, we must protect them from all dangers. But supporting them is in all things, no matter what. That is the calling of a whelp tender. So I got whelp tender. One more. And I'm done with Whelp Tender 101. I have lived to see them return. This one loves to watch the wildlife here. She asked if her visage could be peafowl. Visage could be a peafowl. Okay. Do you have any wisdom for Honor me, please? All uh, never underestimate the power of the an appropriate snack. <laughs> Meats are enjoyable, but you never know when a dramatic sugar crashes around the corner. Amen to that. I think I'm done with this one go back to the life pools hello are you ready to meet agapanthus amelia said to meet you i have been assigned to help agapanthus with the daycare until we meet again uh, Mally, emily has told me about the incoming whelps and about the daycare can did you know agapanthus is a renowned whelp tender i heard he fought back demons while rearing whelps if he's an amazing is as amazing as they say i have much to learn from him i only just received my calling but i will help in any way i can the little scales daycare is in valdraken i will gather my things and meet you and agapanthus there meet agapanthus at the little scales daycare in valdraken uh, okay accept May the and off we go protect you. Uh, and it's that direction Uh, get my juice back up here. I'm trying to remember, someone I think told me that at some point dragonfly becomes a lot easier or you regen faster in dragonflight and i don't remember how that works i think it has to do with like completing stuff like the waking shores tour and stuff like that i don't know or maybe you get it from uh maybe you get it from doing uh oh i gotta go up there on Skyward Ascent. Keep going. One more time. <laughs> Can I get up above him? Yes. I should be able to make it. Okay. Welcome to the hey, Agapanthus. You look like all the plants are growing out back. Ah, I see the Legion didn't kill you either. Ha, good. I hope uh, Emagosa as well. Um, yes. Stands strong. Uh, Laztac has just informed me of his rigorous study as a whelp tender of the Red Flight. Most of my experience is hands-on in you. Agapanthus sighs and scratches his chin. We will have to develop curriculum. <laughs> In other words, we don't know what to do with you. Glory to Valdraken. Oh goodness, I've got three quests out of this. Okay. I'm going to have to, like, get rid of some of these quests. Oh, to Dragonbane Keep. Complete the siege on Dragonbane Keep. Is that a dungeon? I'm just looking to see what else I have to do. Report to the trading post. Uh, Bracken site. Well, that should be an easy one to do. Life pools. Primalist invasion. Hmm, maybe, maybe not. Okay. 
Snack run. Wealths that winter. visit the daycare eat snacks during their visit. A lot of snacks. If there are going to be whelps that stay here with regularity, we will need even more rations to sate their endless hunger. Here's a list of snacks the whelps have taken so too lately. I also ordered something for Sing Sir Pringley, so be sure to get that as well. Uh, gather snacks from vendors in Valdraken. Enjoy Valdraken. Nurturing environment. Whelps, young whelps can be careless in how they treat their space. The daycare is effect efficiently, effectively under siege day in and day out. Help clean up the daycare. The new whelps will need a proper place to stay. I will not let one claw set down on unpolished stone or overgrown grass. In other words, I have to go clean up poop. Is that the, is that this expansion's poop quest? Is that what this is? Be safe amongst <laughs> Okay. Um, the big joke is that every expansion has a poop quest that you have to finish. And I was waiting for this one. The whelps are eager to see you today, Soggy. We have a lot of work to do. Lessons and responsibility. Long life. The daycare is always looking for new activities to enrich the education of the whelps. Laztac has suggested a class pet might help teach the whelps responsibility. Sir Pringley has been my personal companion for some time, and I believe his calm demeanor and sense of fun would serve the position well. Uh, Sir Pringley will need his own habitat for the daycare. However, if you would gather uh, material, we can prepare space just for him. Gather materials for his habitat. Aspects guide you. Okay, it looks like I got some stuff to do here, so we'll just do that. Oh, bird scared. As, and poop to clean up. Oh, no. Lost sand. Good. Sand cleaned. That's one. Let's go take care of the bird. Two whelps love me. Sand's all cleared. What else we got to clear? Hungry crawlers. Oh, these guys. Some crabs. Crawlers, pardon me. Three of those guys. I got three more. Is this what they're. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this stuff. We'll find out. Nothing, I gather. There's some more hungry crawlers. Zap, zap, zap. I think I got all the crawlers I need. I need, uh, oh, I need to scare some more birds. Where are birds? Over there. Got it. Attack the birds. They're all scared. Okay, one down. One quest down. And Soggy can't jump that high. <laughs> so stop running into the wall, Sog. The city stands true. Nurturing environment. All good. Glory to Valdraken. Where do I go next? Snack run. Okay. And it looks like I got a little ways to hop, so we're going to. Oh, let's see. I forgot about that. I've got that one 
I've got a Drake thing in here. Here we go. Unlock this customization for your Cliffside Wilder Drake at the Rostrum. Oh, I have to go back. That's right. I got to go back to the dragon spot in order to use it. Never mind. Hello. Hello. I have nothing to sell to you right now, so See you I'll later. just leave that alone. What am I doing with this? Oh, that's right. Gotta buy some snacks. How about getting off your dragon? Get off your dragon, young lady. Uh, okay, Wheel of Whelp Whisper Bui. I bet you that's what that is. Okay, so I need a, whe a Wheel of Whelp Whisper Brie. I hope I have enough space for it. Uh, I need a box of spicy pet snacks. But not from this person. Anything else from this person? Um, a box of Leap Maze Crackers. Nope, nothing like that here. Okay, I gotta go somewhere else for that stuff. Oh, okay. Or Inside? Or upstairs. Is it up on top? Bet you it's up. Oh, might be inside. Got Rath Steve going here. Oh, there we go. Up. Okay, one. One of these people right here has got what I need, I think. Nope. Ambassador Craft? Trade Coordinator. For the glory of the dragons. Uh, I don't think so. Let's see. Leap maze crackers or pet snacks? I don't see any pet snacks. Not from you. Go in service. Trade negotiator? No, he doesn't have anything. You want it? You bet we've got it. Uh, nothing there. I already looked at his. Nothing there. So, who has the stuff I need? Uh, up here? Crafting orders, crafting orders, crafting orders. It's all crafting order stuff. I'm still looking for snack run. Snack run doesn't look like it's here. It's somewhere else. Oh, I see. Okay. Never mind. Jump on my Drake, and I've got 200 feet to go to get to where I need person I need to talk to. The dragon I need to talk to. Are you here for Agapanthus order? I have everything ready. Good. Yes. Uh, show me your wares. A bag of spicy pet snacks. I need that. Thank you. And where's the last one? <sighs> Back this way. Up. Up. Up and inside, right? I hope. Uh, which one? I need a box of Leap Maze crackers from somebody here. Oh, bartender? Do you have them? You'll find no better in the city. Let me browse your goods. A box of Leap Maze crackers. Thank you, barkeep. My wares are always available. I'm sure they are. And snacks placed. So, gotta go this way. Jump on my trusty mount again. And fly 500 feet. Boom. And there's something that looks like where I'm supposed to place the food. 
Come and get it. Agapanthus is sitting over there waiting. So I'll go pay him a visit. Glory to all flights. Snack run complete. The city awaits your return. Cheese and crackers are treasured by all whelps. Valdraken stands strong. Cheez-Its. They like Cheez-Its. What can I tell you? That was a remarkable first snack run, Soggy. Hopefully these snacks continue to be the whelps liking. Yes, complete the quest. Long life to you. Now the last quest, lesson responsibility. I gotta go find, do I have, I have to find a stuffed doll, a decorative shrubbery and soothing incense. So it looks like I'm gonna be flitting around a little bit more. Can't do that while moving. So I'll stand here in the shrub. And how far away is this? Who knows? Oh, right there. Oh, he looks confused. Yes, okay. Yeah, let me get off of this. The range goats. Making sure not to do an AOE. <laughs> don't need one of these horn smog, horn mogs. I don't need those guys like jumping me right now. Okay, got decorative shrubbery. And where do we go now? Probably up. Am I right? A thousand meters up. A thousand feet up. Okay. Can't do that underwater. Why not? Oh. <laughs> I'm sorry, your whelp just turned into a submarine. The hell are you thinking? Glub, glub. Glub, glub, glub. Oh, come on. I gotta get up. One more. Oh, this is one. If I can get to that. Oh, not nuts. Nuts, nuts, nuts. I guess I'll just sit here and re restock my power. For someone who has limited time to play games, um, and you would think that as a retired person, I would be able to play games eight hours a day or 10 hours a day or whatever. And it's not the case, but I actually have a life. <laughs> I have other things to do. So um, as someone who only has about two hours a day to be able to play the games that I love, um, this que these quests in this uh, game, World of Warcraft, it just takes so long in order to complete and um, it's like I can't imagine how much time and effort people who are now part of raiding guilds and stuff like that have actually spent because they needed to get past they need to get their their uh, characters up to the max level plus gear up plus do all the dungeons and then go into doing raids all the time and it's just like i don't have eight hours a day to do that kind of stuff and i actually treasure my sleep in the evening so um yeah it's not a thing for me i gave up doing that kind of that kind of uh raiding a long 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 time ago and to be honest i i never did that kind of raiding so you know it's like um, it was never serious. Like I mentioned, it was more of a, uh, more of a group of friends that wanted to get together. And it's like, if we got through the raid, we'd actually be able to see, um, you know, some of the hidden, the stuff that's hidden behind the raid, as far as the quest line is concerned and the storyline is concerned. So that's, there we go. I needed that.
Oh, behind me. Hey, we went fat higher than I needed to be. That's good. I dreamt of this once. Are you here for a stuffed doll? I guess I am. Am I dreaming? There, stuffed doll. Now. Thank back you. To my garden. Of course. Um. Enter Zarolek Cavern through the tunnels. Optional. Oh well. Well, I like optional crap. We'll do that. Why not? Got to get up here first. Where? Zalarek Caverns, is that? That's like a million miles away, I think. And that's... Oh, there's the caverns there. So just on the other side of the next zone, got it. All right, we'll go there. Map coordinates have been blocked from an... Oh, okay, that's one of my weird things. Ignore, thank you. I don't feel like dealing with that right now. I should be able to, like, zip along here. Zippity-doo-dah. Get to where I need to go. Whoa. Back there. Guess I'm going in through here. Stop running into stuff. Keep banging my head on the ceiling. Wonk. Sometimes it's just easier to walk. Although that person just zipped by me. It's like, yeah, oh well. This dragon's got some giddy up. There, I made it. That would have taken me too long to go otherwise. Incense. You get your high quality incense here, perfect for all matter manner of creatures. Thank you. Oof, I hope not. Oh, there's a flight path. What do you know? Quick, grab it. Caligos, he's everywhere. Glyphs, Loam Glyphs. Oh, I gotta figure out what the glyphs are all about. I have no idea. I'm not gonna worry about it right now, but I need to exit. There's a raid in um, Outlands that you have to go through, um, like swimming, in order to get there. And that is what flying through that tunnel reminds me of. 
And now I have to like regen, regen, regen. I'm back. I have to go back all the way back to where all the little whelps are and place the habitat pieces. And then I'm done with that particular quest. That's a good thing. I should at some point clean up my add-ons too because I think I've got add-ons that are causing me to have anxiety attack over where stuff is looking at my map i'm going i think there's an add-on that's causing all this turmoil on my map and i have to figure out which one it is and turn it off because this is ridiculous i think that's rare scanner i think that's what that is so all these red skulls are rare spawns. And uh, I think if they're green, they're, they're actually there. If they're red, I think that they were there, but they aren't anymore. But I'm not going to worry about that right now. Uh, up, up and at them. Oh, shoot. Keep going. Up to the top. Boom. Oh, good. I can just put stuff right here. All right. One piece. Two pieces. Three pieces. Habitat has been restored. Agapanthus. Talk ah, to me. Aspects grace shine down on you. A lesson in responsibility. Um, okay. Safe there is these towers. There's a particular way that Sir Pringley likes his habitat constructed. If you get the materials I listed, he should like it. Oh well, I hope so. Aspects guide you. The habitat is looking wonderful, Soggy. I hope Sir Pringley will be on his best behavior. Enjoy Valdrakin. Is this Sir Pringley next to him? Oh yeah, Agapanthus. Okay, so what is it? We safeguard Valdrakin. Oh, he's a cute little guy. He looks kind of like Sir Pringley. Looks. What does he look like? <laughs> he's got a top hat, and he's got a shell with a bunch of. I don't know what he is, but it's like okay, whatever. Long life to you. And this one now has an obsidian hatchling more. and warmth and comfort. Okay, I am going to first Honor all dragons. check and see what this is. Oh, this is a. Is this a. Complete the siege. <sighs> Travel to the waking shores and join the obsidian outcasts on the siege of Dragonbane Keep. Ooh. See the aspects? No, waking shores. Okay. So the obsidian outcasts. Um, you get Aldrakan thirteen thousand fifty five. Gold Soggy, the Obsidian outcasts have heard tales of your bravery. Our former home, Dragonbane Keep, has fallen into Dejaran Dejardin Den Den Homes. We can't let that stand. Join us in reclaiming our territory. I don't remember whether this is is this a dungeon or is this a oh yeah, all five dungeon flights joined together here in the heat in the heart of the Dragon Isle to form the Valdrakan Accord. Uh, complete the Siege on Dragonbane Keep event in Waking, Shore, in Waking Shores will grant bonus rewards. 
And it's an event. I wonder if I've already like it's already passed. It's all gone. We I can't do it anymore. The Isles. I don't know. Let's see what the other stuff is. Okay, an egg from the black dragonfly is ready to hatch. Report to Mother Elian in the Ruby of uh, Life Shrine to pick up the egg. Then I request that you bring the eggs to the Obsidian Oath Stone to hatch in a location strong with their flight power. Once this is complete, return here with the hatchling, where we will further take care of it. Collect five. Uh, collect, yeah, collect the dragon, uh, black dragon egg, at the ruby life shrine, then hatch it at the obsidian oath stone. Stand okay. firm in your duty. I feel like a chicken farmer. In order for the obsidian hatchling to be comfortable, we must build them a proper nest. You will need to build their nest from obsidian citadel coal to make sure it is warm and suitable. Uh, secondly, Archivist Edris will be able to assist you in finding something that ties them to their people. We will want to gather something from the Zaralek Cavern as well, as much as their dry, uh, flight's history is rooted there. Surely somebody in Loam can help gather supplies for the nest. Continue right. to serve. Two more to do. And there's another one in here. We'll see what this guy has for me. Let's strike a bargain. Oh, where, oh, where can he be? Come back again. Soggy, I am glad to see you. I am worried sick and could use your help. Uh, recently, I rescued an abandoned proto Drake whelp. I named him Lovins because he is so lovely. <laughs> I brought him here to care for him and hopefully find him a good home as someone's pet. But now he is missing and I am concerned that he's lost or hurt. I need to keep watch over the rest of my little ones. Otherwise, I would go searching for him myself. Would you please look for him? Rescue Lovins and bring him back to um, wherever, whatever her name is, at the Little Scales Daycare in uh, Valdraken. So you get Lovins. Oh, that's kind of cool. You can get, get him as a pet, and then you get pet bandages. May these goods bring you fortune. Okay, I can do I can deal with that. Uh, shall we go find Lubbins? And I think if we can find Lubbins, that might be like the last quest for the evening. Lubbins isn't too... Oh, he's straight down. Okay, don't jump off the cliff, Jeff, first. There we go. Oh. Hi, injured Lubbins. No, can't be injured. Come here. All right, he's been helped, and now I need to take him back. So that means I gotta fly all the way back up there, right? Yippee. Oh, it's not that far. I didn't use any juice on the way down, so... Yeah. Sometimes it works as intended. I have many things to offer. And I get Lubin's? And some bandages. Struck. Yay. And another Until one. Until next time. Come back again. I think the rest of these are taking me pretty far away. Let's see where they go. Which ones am I pointing at now? Ruby. Huh. Life pools, obsidian. Oh, the obsidian egg. That is there. Where am I? I don't think I'm here, though. I'm in Valdraken. So, if I need the. If I go after the obsidian egg. See, one of the things I'm having struggling with right now is I don't remember where the different regions or zones are in relation to each other and so i'm like oh, i have no idea where this is 
Um, okay, so those two are up there. Ruby life pools. Where's the hatchling now? Two? Same area. And then decay source found. That's way somewhere else. Warmth and coal is in the waking shore. And then these are span an expert opinion. So which one's closest? Let's go fight some stuff. So yeah, we're gonna fight some stuff before I gotta log for the night because that's coming up here in a few minutes. So let's see if we can get let's see if we can get over to this next area. Should be able to pretty easily. Just like Buzz Lightyear says, you know, falling in style, right? Oh, back into the caves. Oh, wait a second. Is this a dungeon? Am I going into a dungeon? It's a dungeon. No, I don't want to do this. I don't have time to do this tonight. I'm sorry. Okay, that was a waste. Uh, where's the egg? Is that any closer? It's pretty close. Okay, we'll... If I don't run into the wall again, I should be able to get up to the egg. Yes. Hi, I'm here to bring the egg to Valdrak. Do not forget that this egg symbolizes the future of our flight. She is not beholden to our past. Yeah, I got that already about the black dragon flight. Um, so one thing that I have not done in this game since I've started streaming is to create a brand new character from scratch and then go from level one all the way up. I'm doing that in Warcraft. Um, I'm doing that in Warcraft uh, Hardcore Classic, but I'm not doing it here. I'm just curious whether I something that I should like play around with and think about doing. Maybe I don't know. My friend, our history together is illustrious. Surely you'll lend me your support here at the city. <laughs> Except I need to be up on the top, right? I bring the future generation of a new uncorrupted oh, no. black dragon flight. Surely you'll aid us in our efforts to settle here on Azeroth. Let's see what he does. Oh, that's a cute little booger. Oh. Egg hatched. And now I think I have to take him back, right? I gotta take him back to the hatchery. So, cool. Come with me. Now I gotta get up enough juice to get out of here because I think I used some juice. No, I got all the juice I need. Yay! Up, up. Wing shredder is aiming at you. Get on the ground or retreat. How about doing? How about just flying away? <laughs> that works too. feet to go.
Come on, you can do it. Uh. Go in the back door. There we go. Almost didn't. Sorry, you can't go through that way. The window's closed, slam. <laughs> oh. An uncorrupted obsidian hatchling, a small smile creeps on last stack's face. It has been quite a long time. You will receive. Here you go. Aspects take him, please. Over you. He's a good little bugger, but take him. And I am in a rest zone. See the snoring. So this is a good place for me to park her. And uh, call it an evening for me. So... Hopefully this wasn't too boring for people because, like I said, it's been a year since I played this game and um, I'm rusty, very, very rusty. And I've got some stuff that I need to do. I need to clean up my uh, add-ons and get rid of the, uh, the ones that are clogging up the uh, map so I can't tell what's going on. And uh, we'll go from there. So anyway, um, I hope you folks had a good evening. And uh, I certainly had an interesting evening. I am not going to be streaming on Tuesday night uh, because my wife and I have something we're going to go do uh, that's fun. And uh, But I will be back at least on Thursday. I might even make an a unscheduled appearance on Wednesday, but we'll have to see. I may take a day off. Uh, so Thursday I'm planning on going back and streaming Final Fantasy and getting back to Chad Fist. So uh, that's what's on the agenda for Thursday anyway. Um, so if I don't uh, hear from any of you between now and then, uh, have a good day. Have a good afternoon. Have a good night.